When NBC arrived in the affected area, the water had already subsided, but most of the residents had suffered water damage. Some residents complained that the same pipe also burst four times last month, then also causing damage to their property. One homeowner said her possessions, including a fridge, bed, her wardrobe and many other items, were damaged by water. An event took place last night whereby the municipality was about to fix the water pipes, but unfortunately they had a problem that occurred and the pipes burst. The disadvantages that took place was the water had to enter in the people's houses, the ghettos, the ghettos, our, she our shakes here were really damaged. People had to sleep in other people's houses because their beds they were underwater, their blankets were wet. This is actually going to bring us TB, malaria and everything because kids cannot sleep in wet places. It's very unhealthy. They demand answers from the municipality and for it to cover the loss and damage caused by the burst pipe. The residents want the municipality to urgently hire qualified people to fix the water pipe properly and avoid further damage. They are building here electrical cables. The people were shocked. Someone was shocked here last night. He was shocked, but unfortunately, he survived and no uh, serious injury, uh, injuries took place. We are asking the municipality, please, to help us just to fix our pipes properly. Hire people that are qualified to do the jobs for them, please. These cheap job things, these people hiring people, just shortcuts here. It's not going to work. The residents also expressed concern over electric cables that are left on the ground, which they say could be harmful to their children. The municipality would not comment, saying they need more time to investigate the matter.